Sunflower folks, welcome to Share Inspirations. In today's video, we are going to be talking about this beautiful plant called Ladies Mantle. This is a perennial winter hardy from zone three to nine. And generally, is it, it is grown as a edge or a ground cover. However, I'm adding this into my cutting garden this plant grows from 12 to 18 inches and produces the, these beautiful lime green with um, a little bit of yellow insides and it makes a wonderful long lasting cut flower as well as in dry arrangements it lasts forever also. I have received these starts. I have a total of four starts as you can see here. I have a hole dug up. That's where I have the bowl sitting. Um, I used my drill bit auger to dig this hole. I'm planting this under my fruitless mulberry tree. I'll go ahead and link, leave the link for this if you'd like to purchase. This makes life so much easier. Um, as far as wanting to go ahead and plant this in full sun or partial shade is concerned what you want to look for is where you're located if you are in northern climates northern states you would be okay with planting this in full sun um, if you are in the south or in the southwest desert high ie like me southern california high desert zone 8b is where i'm located i'm planting this in almost full sun with only uh, i'm sorry full shade with only two hours of morning sun that's it um, any more sun than that it is going to not be very happy so that would depend on where you're located. Um, this can be added in, um, like I said, under trees, say pine tree or fruitless mulberry tree or whatever fruit trees that you have, it would make a great cover if you have a hard time growing this. As far as invasiveness is concerned, it does produce seed heads and it would, if you don't want them to grow everywhere and pop everywhere, especially in cooler climate, seems to be a little bit, um, a little bit on the invasive side. However, in the south, in the um, southern states, in the southwest anyway, it seems to just be a healthy grower. A lot of times, keep in mind that some of the things that are invasive in the tropics may not be invasive in the desert and vice versa. So I am very happy to be adding this plant in my cutting garden. I have, as you can see here, a total of four that I have um, kind of staged so I can go ahead and plant um, their crowns up. So basically this stuff right here that you see, you don't want it buried too far deep. So I want to put it in an area where when I cover, it's not going to just cover the whole thing. Um, I initially had the, the hole dug a little too deep and then I corrected that. So here we go. Whenever you plant something new, go ahead and um, have the soil loose so when the plant is setting root and trying to settle down, it's, it's going to have an easier time instead of in very, very hard soil where it's going to have a hard time. Something else to note here, fall is a great time to add perennials. Just perennials in general, bare root, uh, whatever ones you can find. If you are like me and you like to do trades, go ahead and certainly this time of the year is the perfect time to go ahead and add um, these perennials into your cutting garden or into your uh, just flower garden in general. I have a Facebook group where I share all of the photos. Um, I have a website where I write about, write blogs about the things that I'm writing or the things that I'm growing in my garden and my experiences later on with them. Feel free to check it out. I'll go ahead and leave a link to that under this video. I'm very excited to see next year. Usually this plant flowers around um, summer in at least cooler areas. This plant came to me from South Dakota and for her it, it flowers around June. I'm assuming for me probably flower a little bit sooner only because I am not um, 
I'm not in, in a colder area and there's no snow here. So there we go guys. And I have my plant identifier that I'm going to go ahead and leave with this. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!